Well, today on Nation, a window cleaning podcast, we're talking all about answering your phone. Literally answering your phone. And we got Jill's office with us. So if you're in business or thinking about getting into business, stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com. And you are here. What's up? How are you? Hopefully you're having a great day. If it's your first time here, have a look around. Hopefully this episode doesn't suck and you get some value out of the other six years of content we have. So go back and binge away. It's anywhere podcasts are found and of course on YouTube. Also, I have more of a face for radio, so maybe play it behind everything else, but it's there either way. Uh, If it's not your first time here and you are one of the OGs or you've listened to everything, but more importantly, shameless plug is coming, you let me put your orders in. Well, thank you for everything. It is because of you that I live the lavish lifestyle that I do of uh, free t-shirts and um, work paid vacations. So thank you very much for everything. And if you want me to be your rep, because I want to be your rep, my number directs 862-312-2026. That's a cell phone. So text me, call me, whatever. Just click save this cart and I can put your order in, text me that you have it, and we'll go from there. It's like a virtual high five of awesomeness, by the way. Uh, And if you haven't yet, what the heck is wrong with you? Go to awcmag.com. Get yourself a subscription to the American Window Cleaner Magazine. Be a nerd like all the other window cleaners that are. Get yourself some stickers, posters, pictures, all of that. It is the only magazine, real paper magazine, for window cleaners, and uh, you should go get it because I said so. So go and do that, awcmag.com. Now, today, we are talking about the number one issue, in my opinion, in the world of small business is not answering your phone. And I have the absolute world famous Jill's office with us. How are you? I'm so good. Thanks for having us here today. Definitely, definitely. Now, if anybody doesn't know, um, Tell us about Jill's office. Tell us kind of what you do, what you guys do, and just give us it all. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm Jessa. Um, I am the partner specialist and sales manager here at Jill's office, and we are a virtual receptionist firm. And we primarily specialize in in the home service industry. We take well over a million calls a year. Um, for a variety of home services, but a lot in the window cleaning service in particular. Um, and we are in the business of saving you time and, and scaling your company. You know, not not only answering answering our clients' calls, but we also help our clients feel sane. You know, that phone yeah. starts ringing and you're on a job and it's like, what do I, you know, do I stop what I'm doing to take this job? Do I lose the opportunity? It can, And then at the end of the day, you're calling all these people back. So we're here to help you guys save time, get home in time for dinner, spend some time with your kids. Um, and you know, when you, you start a business, you want that freedom. You yeah. want time, you want freedom for your time. You want freedom financially. And um, as an entrepreneur, a lot of these business owners, they put on a lot of hats and it's hard to keep all of the balls in the air. So, um, yeah. you know, what we always say is we kind of always joke that we're here to help, you know, save marriages, you know, (laughs) we've had people come to us and and their wives will call us and be like, thank you so much. You know what I mean? And, and we love that we can, you know, we don't, we not only help you book jobs and capture customers, um, but we also give them back some of that freedom that, that they, that made them crave to start a, to start a business, to start something themselves. So yeah. we always say that the, the phone is a blessing and it can sometimes feel like a burden for our clients. And, and, you know, we love answering the phone. We love talking and, you know, I'm really passionate about this and I'm really excited to be on the show. Nice. Yeah. A lot of people too, if you're watching and you've never even heard or known that this is what existed, if you've called other window cleaning companies, which I have, um, there is a lot of times that you have somebody answer the phone, super professional. They're always answering the phone. It's not some guy we're clanking ladders in the background and everything else. And when you say, Hey, I, I want to quote, they got to pull out a notebook in the middle of a job or even worse when you call and you get the, the dreaded voicemail or even worse than that when it says the voicemail box is full. But that's one of the benefits to this is that Jill's office, just like any of the answering services, 
they answer every single call that comes in so that if somebody's calling you with booking something or wanting a quote or anything, they get a real person, which it just stops the whole, I'm looking for a company thing right then and there. Yeah. And you know, a lot of the times these clients, I always kind of joke with my clients that your customer is impatient. They want the work done yesterday. Yeah. And if you don't answer, they're going to go down that Google list and find the person that does. Yeah. Um, and so answering that phone, it's, it's our favorite thing to do here. So yeah. Yeah. When you have a new customer too, existing customers, okay, I like you. I'm going to use you. I've used you before. They may leave a message, but a new customer for the most part, they're looking at Google. They're looking at the phone book if they're ancient. They're looking at all those things, right? They're calling the first company and it goes through, thanks for calling. Uh, we're not here, right? They hang up the phone and they call the next person. And even if you watch that missed calls and you call back all of the missed calls that you had, which I can't tell you anybody who ever has, but even if you do that, they've already talked to somebody else who did answer the phone and they got the work. And I'm telling you, if you're watching now, the number one thing if somebody says, well, how can I make more money in your business? That is literally it is answer every call because all of those new customers can stop. I mean, even if you give a quote over the phone, you book them, you go, okay, great. Your price is going to be $2.99 and we'll get you in on the 7th uh, between 8 and 9 a.m. It's done. It's off their plate. They're not going to hang up with you, set an appointment and call the next person. But if they don't get you, they sure will. Exactly. And it, it sends a message to those new, those new customers. If I'm calling a company, I want to give you my money and you don't answer. Well, what's going to happen if something does go bad? Are you going to answer my phone then? So yeah. you're sending a message when you don't answer that call. Yeah. Now I know a lot of you are wondering prices. We'll get to that later. <laughs> but when an answering service is working, it is a pay by the minute or is it a um, monthly charge? How do you guys, it does, don't go into detail yet, but how do you do that? You know, a lot of, there's a lot of systems out there. There's a lot of um, great help. And at Jill's office, we actually do it per minute. But um, I know that there's other services that do it per month, per call, yeah. you know. So yeah, Jill's office, we do per minute, per week. Nice. See, so we'll get to that. I know that's why a lot of you are here watching anyway. But um, with answering services in general, I have the the burning question is how do you know what my company does, right? So uh, an answering service in general probably does this for more than one person, I hope. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you do it for probably more window cleaning companies than any other service, but how do you know about my company? Like how, if somebody calls you, how do you not give my company information as somebody else? Oh my gosh, it's kind of like a magic. Um, you know, we have all of our new clients, because here's the thing is, the thing with answering service is it can feel, so you can sometimes tell when you call an answering service and that can kind of put off a caller. Not so, so personal kind of. Yeah, yeah. At Jill's office, we always, we sometimes get um, confused as like your daughter, your sister, your wife. Um, and that's exactly how we want to sound. We want to sound really authentic and, and like we're in your actual office. And how we yeah. do that is we get to know your company. We've been doing this for nine years and 70% of our clients are in the home service industry. So we've kind of figured out what your call is going to look like, yeah. but we need to know the nitty gritty details about your company. And so before you actually get onboarded, we have you fill out a little profile. I always say it's kind of like a dating profile, but for your company. <laughs> yeah. um, and we want to know everything. We want to know the services you provide, the services you don't provide, your frequently asked questions. We want to know your service area. Um, we're able to schedule appointments, so we need to know your scheduling instructions, things like that. Um, and and we have a whole form that we have all of our clients fill out. And then you have an uh, a onboarding call. And on that onboarding call, we're going to dive into those call instructions. We're making sure that the Jills are set up for success and that our client is, their expectations are being met. Yeah. That's how we nice. do it. Yeah. That, that's the part that people don't understand. Just answering the phone is huge, but all of the other things that kind of go into that and calls in general can be something that takes up a ton of your time. Obviously, you know this too, but depending on your area, it could be super busy. You're in the middle of May. Or it could be January and you have more time or you're doing something or whatever. So it varies all over. And that's one of the kind of nice things is that that one piece of it is off. And you almost get like a report afterwards. Like, hey, this is what we did. This is how it kind of comes. It's, it's, it's off your plate and you can kind of focus on something else. Exactly. It's fun too. Like we have, we will title all of our messages to you. And 
the, the favorites are always, hooray, new appointment, you know, when we nice. do a new appointment and you were yeah. sitting there, you know, working on other parts of your business and we're here to answer the phone or whatever system you have in place to answer the phone. It's, it's important. Yeah. I'm telling you as somebody who I'm on the phone, an average of uh, every week, about 15 hours, 15 to 18 hours is on the phone. And you can tell by the imprint in my hair, it is from the, the, the headset that I wear. This is the, the toughet here. I've been on the phone already today, but um, so as somebody who calls window cleaners and talks to window cleaners and calls people back, it is absolutely phenomenal to me how many people I call the work line and it goes to some general voicemail, either that it's full. We get that all the time, which is mind blowing. Um, but people that don't answer, that don't ever call you back, that don't check their voicemails, that it, it's just lost. It, it's, it's lost. There's so much lost that way. You know what? And we actually did. It was kind of fun. We, we called, we tested it. We called 100 window cleaners across the United States. Um, and the, the numbers are a little scary, so just be prepared. Um, uh, hold on. If somebody's watching, you're watching this on YouTube, before this goes right now, I want to lock in your answer. Out of 100, how many people did not answer the phone? If you're watching on YouTube, put that in the comments. But okay, keep, yeah. keep going. So I have how many people answered, how many people took our name as the customer, and how many of those companies followed up with us afterwards. So 27% of the 100 window cleaning companies that we answered or called um, answered. So 27% answered. 3% asked for our name. And 0% followed up with us. I literally have chills on my body. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, it is crazy. You're, you're losing a lot of money. And, you know, enter an answering service, enter an admin, enter anything that you need to, to to get those calls answered for your company because there's a lot of money there that you're just leaving on the yeah. table, especially with that follow-up. You know, and, and we do offer... All, all, um, outbound calling here at Jill's office and oh, nice. follow up is something that often gets put on the back burner for a lot of these business owners. You've got, you're wearing so many hats, yeah. um, that it's hard. And it's, you know, I, I actually, um, in, in some sales training, it's like 83% of even sales reps don't do follow up. And yeah, it's, it's nuts. Insane. And that's what, if you're looking at like in your business or who you're in business with or your competition, that's who you're competing against is those guys that just aren't answering. So, if you just want to double your business, answer your phone, answer every single call. And Absolutely. I guarantee that, that that doubles that that side of it right there. I mean, you said already, I mean, not even doubles 27% actually just even answered their phone, which that number is absolutely mind blowing. No. Just, that's answering. That means that of all of those other people, you're just calling the next one. It's yep. crazy. Yeah. So our clients usually see their closing ratio go up just because we're answering the phone. Yeah. A lot of times there's not even a ton of selling that needs to be involved. Just answer the phone. Um, and they know they sure. weren't. They're yeah. calling and a window cleaning company to get window cleaning. Yeah. And that brings me to the point between existing people and unexisting or new customers. The, uh, an existing customer can literally call also just to book. I mean, that's... That's like somebody going up to the checkout line in a store with money in their hand, be like, I'd like to buy this item and no one's standing there. If you, no you don't answer that, they're like, well, I'll wait here for a little while, but eventually I'm not going to want to buy this, this shirt or whatever. You know, they're just going to literally leave. Yeah, I'll take my money somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. that's nuts. <laughs> well, this, the stats on that side are just crazy. But the <laughs> other side of it is the time. I mean, I do a lot of... Uh, stuff on the private side too with the one-on-one -on -one type coaching things. And when we talk to guys that have everything that they're doing, one of the big things is always admin. It's always like, okay, well, do you have admin help? Um, and this may not necessarily even be an answering service, but an in-house admin yeah. that would do that type of stuff. And a lot of times they're like, no, I don't think we're there yet. You know, well, we're slow sometimes. We're well with an admin, there's, if you are doing say 40 hours a week, which I know in phone calls and answering that stuff, there's probably not a company you deal with that is 40 hours a week of just doing that. But all of the hours that you put into that and all of the extra work that is getting basically um, ordered through you, you know, that all pays for all of that. That I yeah. mean, people are looking at it as like an expense as opposed to how much money are you making by having that. And admin is just frees you up for everything else. As, yeah, as business mean, owners, there's certain things that a business owner does for their business that nobody else can do. That's what you should be focusing your time on. 
Exactly. And, you know, a lot of the times, whatever system you have in place, whether it's a receptionist in-house or not, you know, admin, answering service, they usually end up paying for themselves because they're able to book more opportunity than you are originally able to on your own where you've got so many different aspects of your business going on and it's hard to get to that phone. Um, yeah. Especially sometimes only over rings when you're busy. So if it's yeah, like, well, no, and they only call. The thing. <laughs> when the phone ring w- rings once, it will ring twice. That's that's the concept, yeah. Yep. What's kind of nice too, and I know, I know I'm not making this necessarily a, a commercial for just you guys, but what's really nice is when you pay even by the minute on that and people are worried about all this admin stuff, in January, my bill for my answering service is not what it is in May or March, but yet it still gets answered all the time. If I'm in town, if I'm out of town, if I'm hanging out with family, if I'm at dinner, it's always getting answered. Yeah. And I mean, we still have clients that still do answer their phones and we're just here as backup. Yeah. Um, and having good backup is important. Actually, I, one of our clients, they went out of town. Um, this was before they were using our service, but they were went out of town and they were just had their admin back at home answering the phones. Well, their admin got sick, didn't tell them that she was out sick. And for that whole week, their phones weren't answered. And so it just oh breaks God. your heart. It breaks your heart. And um, yeah, just even having backup for the people that you have in because, yeah. you know, we're, you can find people that answer 24 seven. And if, if you can put 24 seven on your Google listing, you're going to get more. Um, yeah. If a real person, I mean, if you ever too, there's the, there's the saying, especially in in business, what we do, there are a lot of really really big window cleaning companies, but the majority of us are smaller companies, and yes. there is the whole fake it until you make it type thing where people have to put out a persona sometimes where they they have nice trucks or they have super low, and it may just be them, right? I remember that when I first started hundred years ago, but I remember somebody. Uh, hired us when we got there and the lady says i'm so glad we could get in with you um we see your trucks all over town and she's talking and it's me and my helper at the time we have one truck it was just us and i'm like okay so she hired us because she thought but it's just because you're doing all the stuff right so if you call and always get an answer and they're always polite and they're always or i call hey it's it's eight at night i'm thinking about something i call and get a real person that right there, you're like, holy cow! Oh, this is a this is a real company. It could literally yeah. just be an owner operator, but yet that one side of that aspect of things just takes off. And I'm telling you, if somebody calls you at those times or they call and get somebody, it's a done deal. Ninety five to ninety nine percent, I bet, of people who talk to somebody if they're trying to get a service will get all the information they need and they will book the job right then and there, and it ends their search. It ends their search. The competition is not getting the next call. It does. You know, we, out of the, because we take a lot of calls. We take a lot of calls, like (laughs) like a million million minutes a a year or something like that. But um, we, a lot of the times we are booking jobs just because we are the ones that answered. You know, out of the calls that we get, about 30% are of the um, opportunity to book. Of those 30%, we book 90%. Wow. And I'm, I mean, like my, my, our receptionists aren't like hard closers. They're yeah. just, they're kind, they're genuine, they're professional, and they answered the phone. So out of those numbers, you said you do a million minutes a year, right? So how many calls do you think that you have? Oh my gosh, we have this number. So we do a Jill con every August for our, or, uh, just once a year for our company. And yeah. we bring up those numbers. It's insane. I'll have to get you those numbers. Cause I don't know. They are crazy amount of calls so out of those calls 30 percent are, are like hey we want to book and 90 yep. percent of those are ones you book so i'm terrible at that kind of math but that <laughs> is like we'll say we'll say out of 30 percent of people who call you you're literally adding money into some other company's pocket by by doing that so yeah i mean that that right there is 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 just something for not just freedom side of it, but just capturing what sometimes you can't capture, you know? Yeah. I mean, I think whatever system you have in place to answer your phones is an investment for your company. Yeah. hundred percent. So, I mean, you're going to, you, you know, you have to obviously pay for whatever service or employee that you have, but I think it's worth it to yeah. capture those calls. It's going to help your um, reputation for your company. It, it sets a tone. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Now, if I'm a customer and I'm calling, you happen to be the one answering Walk me through how, like, I'm greeted. Like, what do you find the best thing that you can say to a customer? If I call and say, hey, I'm just looking to get a price, what does that whole process look like? Because the biggest thing I think people are scared of 
is that if I give you my number, when customers call you, you don't know you don't know what you're talking about. You don't you don't you know. That's the biggest fear is that if they call me and only me, the owner of the company, I can somehow give them more information than you can, and I'm going to get more than you. Yeah, and sometimes you're going to give them just too much information. You're going to shoot yourself in the foot, and you're going to yeah. you're going to talk too much. You're the business owner. You know a lot more about window cleaning than any of my receptionists do. Yeah. Um, but you know, we're here to answer as your company, and so a lot of it will be like, "Thank you for calling." A1 window cleaning. This is Jessa. How can I help you? Um, yeah, Jessa, I, I just need to get some of my windows cleaned. I'm just wondering about cost. I'd love to help you with that. Um, have you, how did you hear about us? You know, like we're gathering information for you guys to save your time and yeah. we want to make sure that we want to qualify them. You know, you, yeah. whoever you have answering your phone, um, you think that phone etiquette is um, a given and it's just not it you yeah. know especially for millennials i'm a millennial um we have a hard time sometimes and yeah. um the upcoming generations it's hard to be on the phone and so making sure that they sound professional is is so important and genuine yeah. um even some of my clients will will all will call them and they'll be like hello and i'm like hello who are you <laughs> tell me what you're doing you know but yeah we definitely want to just gather basic information um, and we try to help with those tire kickers. So if they're just like, Oh, give me price, give me price, give me price. Hey, you know what? I, I just want to make sure that we're giving you an accurate quote and that we're really yeah. able to help you because we really do value our clients. So let me go ahead and get down some of your information. Um, I, you know, window, here's the other thing about window cleaning. It's, I didn't know this before I started at Jill's office. Um, window cleaning is a whole world in of itself where different business owners will do different pricing. Some people yeah. do it by the number of windows. Some people do it by uh, counting window panes. Some people do it from square footage. So it's like everyone does a little different and, and trying to protect our clients um, from those tire kickers yeah. when that pricing comes. It's just like, you know what? It's, it's sometimes best to have a technician come out and see you. Let me go ahead and schedule you an estimate really quick. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, now you know, let me ask you this. Uh, I'm putting you on the spot here. You may not know, but if I have a program running on my computer or my website like Responsibid, I yes. imagine you've heard that, can I, I have. have you run everything through Responsibid? So that way you give them a price exactly tailored to me, but I capture all that information and Don't you have give them pricing and book right from there. Yeah, the, the Jill's office, we always say that Jill's office and response bit is kind of like peanut butter and jelly because um, we're able to go through the call screen. We're able to log directly into response bid, take your caller through the call screen and then upsell them with yeah. the packages and then there. book them. They, they have that awesome crew cow connection at, at response bid where we book the job. It books the correct amount of time you need to handle that job. And it routes the job for you, saving you a ton of money in gas. So, you know, any other system, my Jills wouldn't be able to do that. Like, we're not yeah. in your, we're all located here in Utah. You know, if you're not in Utah, we can't really route your job for you. And no, we don't know how long a, a window cleaning job this size would take. But response yeah. did, does it for us. So we That's love crazy. So it's, as like to pull, to, to just get your brain around if you're listening or watching, but so you could literally, with Responsibit already packaged, I mean, that's where people can go online and they'll do everything themselves all the way down to book. Is literally, I could have somebody take care of every bid, or let me say most bids, because obviously there's always that, you know, sticking in the spokes. Yeah. Most bids you could do right over. They'll talk to a real person who's going to be a lot more polite than I probably am. True. And when everything's said and done, it's absolutely perfect to what I do because I'm running through Responsibit and I get all that information captured. So if they didn't book right then and there, I can do my follow-ups. I can do all that. Or I could even have you guys do a follow-up following day. Yeah. yeah. Our Responsibit clients are probably the most successful here at Jill's office, especially because after we book the job, we're going to, so Responsibit's going to tell us to follow up with them again in six months to book another job. Yeah. So we're just going to do that. And it's going to happen for you. So I think having those systems and in place for your company is just going to save you a ton of time, which is what I've experienced with the clients that I've dealt with. That is what they are wanting most in the world is more time. More yeah. Time. yeah. Well, that's the thing too, that, that there's certain tasks that can just be tasks, right? Mm -hmm. Not to downgrade the importance of anybody's tasks, but there are certain tasks that can be done by most of the people in a company. And there's certain tasks that can only be done by one person who's Sprat 3 trained and right. Yep. So you kind of allocate where it goes and you're basically just getting you guys as kind of 
an employee that just happens to do that task and amazingly efficient. Yeah, we love it. And there's another side of this that, that we always talk about, and it's the script for calls, right? So every single person that ever has owned a window cleaning company or any company for that matter, has to ask the question, how did you hear of us, right? Because everybody goes, well, yeah, I got some uh, Facebook ads and they tell me this and get Google. If Facebook and Google were giving you real, real numbers, then you would have a million customers every month because everybody's, doing, you know, you're paying by the click. So if somebody's clicking a bunch of times or looking, you don't really know where they are unless you ask the question, how did you hear of us? And if you ask that, yes, there's they, they saw you online, they looked at Facebook and then they went to Google, but they will tell you, the thing that gave them the most impact because the first thing that comes to the mind is what they say. And that is what really did the whole thing. And I can have you as the person who's answering my calls, make sure that it is said every single time and logged. So now that changes everything from how I'm answering to what I'm closing, but then also how I'm tracking where all my advertising stuff is coming from. Yeah. And if you see one that's a little bit higher, push more marketing into that, yeah. um, which brings me to something else. Like if you're paying for marketing and not answering the phone, I just, you, you can't be doing that to yourself. Yeah. <laughs> you People know? think that they, that customers want us as us more than they actually do, yes. right? People go, well, they want me because it's me. I'm the biggest, nobody cares until they get a relationship with you. So when you were like, well, they're just going to have to wait. I'm super busy. It, the best time to sell a cheeseburger is at dinner, right? When yes. people are hungry. So you have to advertise when you're busy. You have to answer the phone when you're busy and you have to answer the phone when you're advertising. If you don't, it's not going to make the phone ring in January. They're not going to be like, well, I tried to call you when it was busy, but now it's January and I want to try to call you and thinking you're available. They'll yeah. just go to the next guy. Yeah, it's, it's exactly true. It's kind of like what you said in your last episode where you were kind of talking about like you can have, I think you said like a million dollar or $3 million company and you're only getting 3,200 or 32,000 a year. It's like, this yeah. is those, these are the types of things that's going to scale you to putting more money, money in your actual pocket. Cause you guys just, are working just hard. Efficiency. You're working so hard, you know? I know. I know. It, 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 people, a lot of people are very willing. I mean, there's a lot of people, thousands of people that are listening to this literally right now that are here to kind of better themselves and they're, they're open-minded. They're going to try something, but there are so many people, right? The, 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 the adage is dinosaurs die, right? There's a certain point where people are like, no, I know it. I've been doing this forever. And they just fizzle out and that's cool. That's their expiry time. That's fine. Yeah. I don't ever want to be that. Right. So in the same thing, it's like, you have to kind of go with technology. You have to go with efficiencies and change yourself. Like even if you've been in business for a while, that $3 million company, if they answered every single call and increased that rate that they would have more money. It just, yeah, it's simple. It's Not, I got, I'm going to put you on the spot one more time, cool. but I have to ask, what does it cost if I did now? I know all services are different, but if I'm going through Jill's office, what does it cost me? What's my per minute? Like, just give me a ballpark rundown of what it would cost me. Yeah. So of course it's going to depend on your call volume. Um, and we actually have minute plans that you can choose from some, so from ranging from 25 minutes a week, all the way up to 500 minutes a week. Wow. So whatever that looks like, if you guys are, we have clients that just use this for when they go on vacation. So they're on a very low minute plan, but we have clients who we are their full time receptionists. So it really depends on what all your call volume looks like. But I usually recommend all of my new clients to start on one of the smaller plans, either the 25 or the 50 and go up from there. There's no contract. So you're welcome to move through those plans as often as you need to. But for example, our most popular plan is our 50 weekly minute plan. And that one is going to be $129 a week. And the permanent rate on that plan is $1.80. So any minute you use after, if you used all 50 minutes that week, we definitely call and let you know. But uh, it'll just be $1.80 per minute after that. Wow. That, that's what's nuts too is you don't understand when it is your only job to answer and book. I mean, an average call has got to only take two, three minutes. I mean, it's not, you're not going, so how are the kids? How's it? That's not you. I mean, you guys are there to do that. Specific We're going to get some stuff done. Yeah, out of all those calls that are booking, I mean, that's that's less than I mean, our truck minimum was 149 and I know a lot of people's even more than that. So that means you just in a week book one job, you've more than paid for that, yes. including everything else is just free money. Yeah, and then we're just going to continue to book. So it's it's really a I that's why I say it's a magic. It is magic. Nuts. <laughs> that's nuts. And I didn't know you guys paired with with responsive and again, not a commercial for responsive. I love Kurt. I love responsive. I, I was like, I, I knew Kurt when it was all getting developed and like, you know, 
Kurt's awesome. Yeah. But to be able to pair everything together like that too is like the most efficient. Like if you could hire AI or a robot to do those things, you would just know that it would be absolutely efficient with technology. You guys are just that. Yeah, we are. And, you know, we talk about AI a lot and it's going to do amazing things for a lot of businesses. We're trying to actually implement it somehow in, into our system, but there is something about that human touch. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, and I've talked to, again, when we do calls and things like that, I know that there's a lot of those companies that are using answering services and it may not even be you guys, yeah. but that answering service, I can tell it's an answering service by that they just answer the phone and they're just polite. So I'm like, okay, I know instantly that this is not going to just fall dead on their ears, you know? Yep, exactly. Yeah, it's crazy. Now I'm going to have one question for everybody listening to, because I know you're thinking like, oh, this is cool. This might work for some people. But if if you answered every call, would you not make more money, right? That's the simple, simplest question because Again, if you want to be bigger or better than your competition, if you answer a call and book a job, again, phone bids, I talk about those all the time, booking it on the phone, quick, fast. It took two minutes. They got that off. They're not calling the next person. You literally take that money or that job or that work from the other guy, which we're not looking to just screw the other guy, but we want to be bigger and better. And that's absolutely the way to do it. So. Yeah, Super amazing. I, I really appreciate you talking to me because, yeah. you know, this is one of those things that people think that the answering service, I'm not to that level. They're too big. They're too, oh, I'm not, I'm not a billion dollar company. I can't like, it just, it opens it up to people to be able to see really what's going on. Yeah. And we're, we can help anybody. We actually just had so funny. We had a 17 year old kid call us. Um, and he said he has a landscape company and he said, my, my math teacher is the only teacher that lets me take my work, my business calls. <laughs> so a 17 year old kid is using yeah. Jill's office. He's in class so that we're booking his jobs. We, we book for him in jobber, but you know, it, it, it doesn't matter how big your company is. Um, get help with your phones. <laughs> That's, so nuts. That's, I mean, this kid too, somebody's calling and getting like a receptionist, they're like, whoa, this company. And you find out it's a 17 year old kid that's in study hall right now. Exactly. I love it. I Crazy. It. Well, hey, I really appreciate it. Um, tell us real quick, if somebody does want to go with Jill's office, they want to try it. You said no contracts, which is phenomenal. But tell us, yep. how do we get a hold of you? How do we try you out? How do we get that first week? Yeah. So um, you can always go to our website, jillsoffice.com. Um, you can request a demo. We'll call you. You can click get started, get started right then and there. You can also call me directly at 801-896-6658. Again, I am the sales manager here, so I can definitely get you taken care of and, and make sure that your calls are getting answered and that we're booking more jobs for you. Phenomenal. How fast is the turnaround from when I call you to when you guys can, I can hand my phones over? If, if you're very efficient, um, I can get you started in a day or two. But if you take a minute to get me your call instructions and schedule the onboarding call, it's all in your hands how quickly. Yeah. 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 Nuts. <laughs> well, hey, I really appreciate you spending some time. Thanks for, for telling us about it. Thanks for putting it out there as a whole different thing. Um, if you're watching, I'm telling you, you're not answering the phone like you should be. Even if it's not you, even if it's not Jill's office, even if it's anything, you have to get that either admin help or somebody to answer the phone every single time. Because again, a phone call and an answer ends an ex a next phone call with your competition so Absolutely. anyway go and do that uh, again if you guys don't know i'm a rep for windowcleaner.com uh, it is what i do so please do let me put your orders in 862-312-2026 and of course american window cleaner magazine go and get a subscription i see when you guys are getting subscriptions and high five to all of you that get it uh new stickers every single month the magazine is shipped to your door real paper, something to read on the toilet. Uh, so go and do that. Uh, but until next time, answer your darn phone. And more importantly, go out there and be epic.